Yogi Clan, what's up, y'all? Good morning, and welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. I thank you for joining me today. Today, I want to talk to you about Indian Larry. If you are not familiar with Indian Larry, you should be. He, in my opinion, is one of probably the most beautiful bike builders that he's one of the top. And he tragically met his end way too early right is he was probably at the peak of his career and unfortunately I was there and met him and saw him moments before he died if you are new here to Yogi Cycle Service I thank you for stopping by and checking out this channel I hope you enjoy the content of this video this could be a little bit of story time here today and at Yogi Cycle Service we fix motorcycles and we give you tips, tricks, and talk about really anything that's motorcycle related or maybe yogi related. And this is a yogi related story and a motorcycle related story. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming back and watching and I, I hope you enjoy this story. And if you're not a subscriber, what's up with that man? Mash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Alright y'all, let's get into this. So, back in i believe it was 2004 so i had bought miss piggy she's a, a fat boy in 2003 it's a 2003 anniversary edition you'll see it featured on my channel i bought her back in 2003 well mrs yogi and i there was a motorcycle build-off if you remember the biker build-off series the discovery channel ran yes it came to concord north carolina at the expo center and Mrs. Yogi and I said, hey, let's go up and check that out. That'd be kind of cool. So we went up there, we checked it out. And you know, this was like before the days of GoPros. Smartphones weren't really so smart. I think I had a Blackberry phone at that point in time. You know, like the Nextel ones where you click it, go beep beep. Camera phones weren't really that prevalent then. People were still using like a digital camera. We went to the Expo Center. And I think there that day I met Billy Lane, Kendall Johnson from Kendall Customs, and Indian Larry was there. I think another, Mondo might have been there. I think who that might have been who. Now maybe it was Indian Larry versus Billy Lane at that show. I don't really remember. It, it, it's been a minute. So I went to the show, went into the room where the biker build off series was, and there's Indian Larry in the middle of the room with a a line of people well I mean, the line wasn't really that big it was kind of early in the day it was probably about one o'clock two o'clock maybe at maybe there weren't really a whole lot of people there so the line to meet indian larry and get an autograph it might have been 10 15 people it really wasn't that bad so i had a t-shirt on from a i think uh it was like a, a reading pennsylvania harley t-shirt it was kind of brand new so they were doing autographs of t-shirts so i had gotten kendall johnson to sign it you know i met billy lane got billy lane to sign it i'm like i want indian larry to sign it so i waited in line for indian larry and right as i got to the front of the line i'm like this far away from it you know he, i am next i am there i have made it. i'm gonna shake this man's hand and get my shirt signed Right at that very moment, his right-hand man, Paul, I think his name is, walks up and goes, hey, man, Larry, it's time to do the stunt show. So Larry looks at me, he's like, sorry, brother. He's like, I got to do the stunt show. He goes, but I'll tell you what, uh, you will be the first one, first t-shirt. I'll look for you. Be here after the stunt show's over. You'll be the first t-shirt I sign. I'll look for you. I said, all right, man. And he shook my hand, and then he left. Then he went out to the stunt show. <laughs> The bike I think that he was building was the chain bike. I think that was the bike that was there that was in this biker build off. So he wasn't riding that one for the stunt show. I forget what bike he was riding for the stunt show. Wikipedia has it if you're interested. But he goes outside for the stunt show and he does this, he puts on a fire suit, right? It was hot. I think it was like maybe August 2004. So he puts on his fire suit, he's outside. They have this wall set up there and they light the wall on fire and it's burning and he rides his bike through the burning wall i think it was made of like pallets or something like that i don't know i don't remember and i don't have pictures because cell phones weren't there so 
nobody was standing there with their cell phone like they do today. So he rode through this wall. You know, he did a couple other stunts. I think they dragged him for, like, a distance. I don't remember. He did a couple different stunts on bikes. And incidentally, Indian Larry, how did he get his name? Well, he lived in New York, and he used to chop apart Indians. So he got the, he got the road name of Indian Larry. Kind of cool. Anyways, after he gets done with his stunt show, he decides to finish it with his piece de resistance. And if you know anything about Indian Larry, you know he was a dude who stood on the bike, and he would take his arms, he would stand on the bike, surf his bike, and put his arms out like that. Uh, kind of like, kind of like Christ crucified on the cross, and he would stand on his bike and surf it. Alright. So he was doing that. He was in kind of like the parking lot area of, it's kind of like a side road that goes up by the convention center. And he's doing all these stunts in this area. So he hops on his bike, you know, he, he, I estimated he was probably in third gear when he did it. And, and most of his bikes are jockey shift, if I remember correctly also. So he's in third gear, he pops up on his seat, he puts his arms out. And I don't think he had a throttle lock. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure he did not have a throttle lock. Or if he did have a throttle lock, it wasn't working right. Because what happened is the bike started slowing down. And when the bike started slowing down, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, Larry, you're going to get down now. You're going to get down now. You're going to get down. Like, now. And he didn't. <laughs> and the bike started, it started like, you know how when you start getting low in gear, it starts kind of like bucking? It, it, it like bucked once or twice, and then it went bloop, and fell over. And when it fell over, you know, at this point in time, he has the fire suit on still, no helmet, but he had the, t it was, uh, the fire suit's kind of like coveralls, you know? So he had the top undone, and then the arms tied around his waist, you know, to keep the coveralls from falling down. So, he's shirtless, and he's helmetless, and this bike goes over, and he flies off and hits the ground. And we're all like, oh! We never saw his head physically hit the ground, but we saw, we saw him hit the ground. Because we're all standing along a fence. There was a fence there, and it, it, I mean, it literally happened, like, right in front of me. <laughs> and I'm leaning against the fence... And my Mrs. Yogi's on this side, my wife's on this side, and some other guy's on this side. And all of us were like, holy crap. And it happened, like, right in front of us. <laughs> Never did I see his head hit the ground, although I'm sure it did, because later on he wound up dying of traumatic brain injury. So he hits the ground, and he's not moving. And we're all like, uh-oh. You know, we thought, well, maybe, maybe he's knocked out. So he's laying there on the floor. Luckily, the paramedics were there, you know, because they were there because of his stunt show. Because he was doing his stunt shows. So they were there uh, just because of that, just because they, in case he needed medical treatment for that. So they rush into the scene. The ambulance drives over to where he's at. They start uh, working on him, and he's, he's just not moving. Not responsive, not moving. About 15 minutes later, we hear a helicopter, and a helicopter is coming in. The helicopter lands probably about 100 feet from him or so. They have they put him on, they get him on a stretcher, and they take him to the helicopter, and they life flight him to the hospital down in Charlotte, I think Carolina's medical center. To which I don't think Facebook was around at that point in time. I think we were uh, tuned in. You know, the internet was there, so we were pulling up the news as often as we could and the next day I found out that um, he, he was pretty much for the most part brain dead because of the traumatic brain injury that he had so I believe the family wound up uh, taking him off of life support uh, sometime really early in the morning somewhere both between like two and four o'clock in the morning and he passed and he passed away that day and it, and it was sad you know, it was very sad. Here's this iconic bike builder who the fans loved. 
I mean, the fans loved Andy and Larry. He was, he was, from what I know, seemed like a, just a really cool dude. I'm sure he's had a checkered past. <laughs> Though we all have to some degree or another, right? But uh, it, it was just a, a really hard day. And that memory has stuck with me now for, was that, 16 years. And, uh, and still I, I see... You know, you see pictures of his bike on Facebook or pictures of his bikes come up in different stories or different things. I think the shop is still open. I think Paul, his right-hand man, is still running the shop. I think they still sell frames and derby covers, you know, with his iconic question mark, you know, a Joker style, like Batman and Joker, the, the question mark. I think it's an upside-down question mark, though. Well, they could be wrong about that. Um, but a lot of his famous things that he created, his derby covers, his sayings, and uh, yeah, just, just a, a really fascinating guy. So that was my story on, on how I saw Indian Larry pass. Again, it was just a very sad day. But there you go, Yogi Clan. There's a little bit of history for you. I hope you have an awesome day. I thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out some of my other ones. And don't forget the subscribe button. Also, don't forget, we got merch down in the comments below. Get you a mug. Get you a hat. Help fund this channel. Hi, right, Yogi Clan. Y'all have an awesome day. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.